So, what do we use speed and finale mean for? One of the main things is to make an azo dice. Azo dice are very, very stable dies, and we wouldn't have all the wonderful colours of clothes that we have with our azo dies. So, how do we do it? Well, we start with finale. Mean. And we react it with something called nitrous acid. Nitrous acid, acid is HNO2. Remember nitrous, not nitric. That is very unstable. You can't go and get that. You can't buy it because it decomposes. So you make it in situ, which means we make it in the reaction and it reacts straight away. So I make it by adding in sodium nitrite, NaNO2, plus HCl, and I need two of those, and it cool makes this in situ acid. This has to be done below 10 degrees C, because everything is really unstable, and you're going to do this next week. We could do it in the school then, couldn't we? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We do it on Wednesday. That makes this mega molecule, which is a diazonium salt. Plus 2HCl plus NaCl. Yes, it's an ionic bond there. Things to note. The positive charge is on that nitrogen there. If you stick it on the other one, you lose the mark. Is that a triple bond? That is a triple bond. Crazy. Wow. This decomposes if it gets too hot, and you would see bubbles appear. What do you reckon those bubbles would be? Hydrogen. Nitrogen. 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 Yeah. Because you've got nitrogen there. Yay, nitrogen gas. Off he goes. Really, really <laughs> unstable. Got to keep it cold. When you do it next week, if it gets too hot, it will go. So, you use that straight away. You take your diazonium salt and you react it with phenol. So I'm gonna take that diazonium salt. That's the guy that does the business, but I'll put the CL on it. You add it to phenol or some type of phenol, and you have to do it in alkaline solution. So you need some sodium hydroxide knocking around. So plus NaOH. And that gives this amazing molecule, which is two benzene rings joined by a nitrogen. <laughs> so are you going to make this? Yeah, you're going to make something similar. Plus NaCl and H2O. I hate benzene. Oh, got a benzene NaCl test next week. It's a double bond, yeah. yeah. He's bridging those molecules. I just hate drawing it. It always never looks... It just looks... Let's label these guys up. So, first of all, this here is my diazonium group. So that is the diazonium group. Is that just the triple N? Yeah, that's what, when I call it, when I'm talking about diazonium group, that's what I'm talking about. That's the L. No, it's the N, triple bond N, on your benzene ring. And the charge. Yeah, and the charge you need as well. So this here group. is my azo di. That whole molecule is an azo dye there. And that's really stable. Very, very stable. We need what, sorry? So, yeah, with your permission. No, you <laughs> key things, really unstable, decomposes, give nitrogen nice gas. <laughs> Why, well, first of all, why do you reckon this is so stable? What do you know about benzene? Benzene is really, really 
unreactively stable because I've got a delocalized structure. Look at this guy. He's got a delocalized ring here, delocalized ring here, and a double bond there. He has got a massive delocalized structure going over that molecule. He is super duper stable. The reason why they're colored is a little bit more involved. If you have dabbled with physics, no. you will know that color is due to photons being absorbed and electrons changing shells as they absorb light photons. And the orbitals for this guy absorb the, the similar energy difference as the wavelength of light, which is why they're colors. Luckily, you don't need to know that for chemistry. We used to have to do it, but no more. So, key thing, stable, really, really massive delocalized structure. You can get big ones, but delocalized structure, but that nitrogen group is key to keeping it Where does um, its triple bond go? Where does the triple bond go?